Hey guys, this is Amat continuing on in Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, yeah, so we're still showing our poem off to some peeps. Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, Natsuki. <laughs> well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. It's a little blunt. <laughs> well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. Just didn't evoke any emotions. Mm. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. You want to get smacked? <laughs> I'll pass. So, well, anyways, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. That's about it. That was probably the worst thing I've ever read, I think. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. That's a lie. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that I, writing has to be all sophisticated stuff. <laughs> so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Who should I show my poem to next? Hmm. Sayori. This is a good poem, Amic. You sure it's your first time? Of course. <clears throat> it's not that good. Am I the kind of guy that would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Eh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Amic. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That would be my way of thanking you. Thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> eh heh. We'll see, about, we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine. The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky's blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Say, Ori. <laughs> this is just a guess, but... <laughs> Did you wait until this morning to write this? No. <laughs> it's just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. <laughs> well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. <laughs> I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? <laughs> Sounds just like you. <laughs> really? Yeah. Especially that last line. <laughs> I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. <laughs> I get all cranky. I guess there's no point in arguing. <laughs> anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Aw, uh, yeah. The next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. <laughs> Phew. I guess that's everyone. Glance around the room, that was a little more stressful than I anticipated. 
It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all, my I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. <laughs> What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the sim symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I I know that. I just meant <laughs> the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Yes. Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Amek did, too. So based on that, I'll glad you <laughs> gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <laughs> Nee? Nee? And Amic liked my poem too, you know. Oh god. He even told me he was impressed by it. Uh oh. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress a new member, Yuri. Eh, eh. That's not what I. Uh. Y you're just. Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Amic appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know that he appre didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Mmm. Uh, um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the only... <laughs> I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Amex started showing up. Nazi. <laughs> oh, Nazi, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I, I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls t turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Hey, Mac. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. She can get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective. And this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Amac. But wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey compl complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily li limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Amic? Oh, God. Um, wow. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But wh whomever I agree with will probably think more highly of me. Gotta side with my girl, Yuri. Sorry, Natsuki. Actually, yours sucked. I hated yours. I don't feel that bad. Natsuki. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, I forgot I wasn't reading it out loud. You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, well, that's... Here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Eh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized, don't you think you should too? Eh. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody had taken her side. She's trapped at this point, being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Uh, um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki, she really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Sigh. 
Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Things ain't make you too kind. I'm thankful to have uh, you a part of this club now. Eh, mm, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, <laughs> eh? What thing did Natsuki say? <laughs> um, well, never mind that. I'm going to go make some tea. <laughs> ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It's a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. Hey, Mike, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It's a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Oh, with them. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poem everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Hey, Mick. Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has become, been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori? About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. Just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make great friends for, with you. Phew. You know, Amac, it's, not that I, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... Eh Every day is going to be so much fun. Sigh. Sigh, yeah, yeah. Sigh, duck. Looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. So I need to make another poem? Yeah. Massacre. Parfait. Parfait? <laughs> I'm basically just picking like the bigger words that might impress Yuri or the more like I don't know words that might convey more like inferno disoriented desire vivacious Actually, I don't know what effulgent means or effulgent, effulgent. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past few day couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Emmett. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Eh-heh. 
I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyways. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? <laughs> no thanks. Eh? That, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? Why that all, all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. <laughs> How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all of your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. So that only leaves the one option. Ooh-ah! <laughs> I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I did notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Ah. I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri. Tell Emic to let me borrow some money. <laughs> That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little snot like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Ah. Did I just... I didn't mean that. <laughs> I got too absorbed into my book. <laughs> eh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun sight of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. <laughs> you were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Accept the revolution. Alright. Oh, there you go. Retribution. That. <laughs> Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Eh. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. Eh? <laughs> Plap. Did someone get smacked? What happened? Kaya! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles under the desk. Ow. What was... <laughs> eh? A, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. It, is this a miracle? Probably Natsuki. It's because I paid restitution. Paid my restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> ah -ha -ha. I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. Totally worth seeing your reaction though. Ha ha! Not that spooky. It's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayoria hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. <laughs> Sayori certain claps. Cla <laughs> Claps. Sudden clasps her hand around over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Eh. Uh -huh. Going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, oh, yours look really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jesus Christ. Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. <laughs> yeah, why do you think I give you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Eh. Uh -huh. Sayori gets out of her seat and goes by Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, oh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in hand. Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Ah. Um. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? Uh huh. Mouthful Sayori trots away to safety, and Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Huh? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica, anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. I haven't either. <laughs> hmm. That's a bit unusual. Hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular, after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... Uh -huh -huh, wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Uh -huh -huh, that's not true. Or that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But, boyfriend? <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, never mind that. I'm gonna hold you up anyway. Ah. Well. 
My last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ha ha ha. Makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as, as well, Monica. Ah, I don't, really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. It's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! Sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Amek. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ha ha ha, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure not Suki will end up complaining to her anyways. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. <laughs> Whoa. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Hey Yuri. Actually, before I continue, I'm going to call that apart. And I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.